Ben, Sammy, ladies, gents, Wednesday, cool shit, oh my god, coolest stuff ever, just read two amazing articles, links are in the description below, you won't believe them, I'll talk about them in the section, roll credits! Okay, so, the two articles I read, first one covered just, oh my god, alright, so, First one was talking about the new in style. It's called the dad bod. Ben, you won't believe this thing. It's freaking amazing. People are actually liking the way we look now because body shaming as a whole has just gotten to such an antiquated point that, oh my God, it's amazing. All right, let me just calm down. I think what I was trying to say was the anti-body shaming movement has moved to a point where it's just gotten so much collective gathering and so many people that are really into it and just really feel that body shaming is the stupidest thing ever, which it always has been, and it's gotten to a point where it's finally done it, it's finally moved to men! Male body shaming is now out of style too, which means the quote-unquote dad bod, which is a guy with, you know, big guns and a big gut, is... It's in! It's what's considered sexy, it's the most amazing thing ever, which means I can finally do this! Whee! So liberating! Oh. I bet you thought I was going to take off my shirt and there was not going to be anything underneath, but this is a show we're trying to keep somewhat PG-13 and failing sometimes, kind of, sort of. Honestly, the main reason why I really didn't want to do this wasn't even so much the fact that we already pre-discussed that no one will show any part of their torso or chest or midriff or so on. So much as it is my way of, you know, enacting a small part of feminism. Now, it's honestly seen by a lot of people, and it always seems silly to me, that men are allowed and okay with taking off their shirts, whereas women taking off their shirts is seen as inappropriate. And that always seemed really silly to me because, I mean, the only difference is like jiggly bits, and quite frankly, I've got jiggly bits, so we. So basically, the only way that I, as a male, can continue enacting my part of feminism isn't so much that I take off my shirt as many times as possible, be because that will just continue perpetuating the norm of men being allowed to take off their shirt and women not being allowed to take off their shirt. So, I'm going the entirely opposite direction. Until it is okay for women to take off their shirts in public, I'm gonna leave mine on. Sort of. Sometimes. Kind of. Maybe. We'll see when I'm at the beach. I'm gonna leave mine on on camera. That's what I'm gonna say. Yep, I'm gonna leave mine on on camera. That works so much better. Alright. Part two, the other article that I read that I left the link in the description below. Just, just this amazing article talking about how Scientists have proven, proven, scientifically using science, that men with larger guts are better lovers. They're better lovers and they last longer in bed and the science behind it I still don't understand because I'm not a scientist, but the link is in the description below. Ben, I would love if you could do me a favor and fact check that because, um... I really want to believe this one, guys. Now, admittedly, much of this video is going to seem a little ridiculous and kind of silly, but there's a good chance that you're only going to understand about a third of the words I'm saying because I'm talking really fast. But, what's really important is that you got to keep in mind the anti-body shaming movement and the anti-body shaming community as a whole is something that I very much believe in and something that I think is just an amazing movement and an amazing step forward. It's just such an amazing movement and something that I really feel that everyone should look into more and should read more about. So I left a couple more dis links in the description below talking about body shaming and anti-body shaming movements. But I think the best way to sum it all up, by paraphrasing essentially what the Beatles said so long ago, all you need is love.